Restaurant Week wrapped up in downtown Sioux Falls on Saturday. Each restaurant featured something new for their menu. While at Crawford's, the three-course fine dining meal was created by CTE culinary students. Tonight, Cutlerland's Renee Ortiz shares how the students are using their culinary skills to represent South Dakota on the national level. Culinary students at the CTE Academy have been cooking up a storm this semester. Creating food is an art in general and plating, stuff like that, and the amount of different ways like food can look like as well. I just think it's really interesting and intriguing, like all the different processes that you go through to create. Alex Bruner and her four teammates worked to create a three-course fine dining meal for Pro Start's culinary competition in Pier. I had a sugar dome that had huckleberry juice in it and it had lemon lavender espuma, which is like a culinary foam and uh, an orange huckleberry chocolate ganache. I did the bison wellington, which is a bison tenderloin wrapped in puff pastry with prosciutto and a mushroom-based duck cell. And then we added on the garnish was a uh, parsnip mashed potatoes. The team had help from Crawford chef Dan Myers. He came out here and kind of helped us with like, you know, making the dish and everything. And he put his input in and when we won out at uh, Pierre, he just said, you know what, I'll use it for restaurant week. Crawford's and South Dakota Realtors will sponsor the team's trip to Baltimore. There, they will face off against hundreds of students in the finals of the Pro Start National Competition. I'm so proud. You know, it's just, it's a real gift to get to be a part of this and to um, take them to do this. And I'm thrilled for them. It's exciting. They're talented. They're nice young people. And I, it's an honor to get to be with them every day. The team says they plan to continue cooking and hope to become chefs one day. In Sioux Falls, Renee Ortiz, Kelloland News. Wow, they got some talent. Good for them. The culinary team will head to Baltimore on the 25th.